This is Art 154, Computer Graphics, uh, class number two, and this is uh, modeling number one lecture. So open Max, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a very, very basic uh, piece of furniture. So there's two different ways you can make stuff. You can go up to Create, and Standard Primitive, and Box. We're just going to use boxes for everything. Or you can go over here into what's called the Command Panel, and you can hit Box. Both of them give you the same result. Um, I'll hit the box up here just to show you. So what you do is you get this icon and this you use to draw out. What you want to do is you want to draw the first instance or the you want to start drawing out your shape in the top view. So you see how I draw this out. So now I just do the size and and then I pull down. So this might not look as easy as it is on the screen and I click it the second time when I get the size right. So this is going to take you a little bit of time to get if just uh, be patient uh, with yourself. Let me do that again just to show you. So I would grab either tool and you can see I chose from up here for box but this turned blue so anytime you hit something it toggles on. So now I have box. I would draw out at the left mouse button holding down the left mouse button in the top view so I get the proper length and width and then I move the mouse or the cursor down and I click left and now I have the height. And over at the right you can see there's actual parameters so if I want to change these I could say I want this to be 20 by 20 by negative 120 and now all of a sudden I have what we're going to use as a, a leg. So I if I um, if I go to do anything at this point I'll accidentally draw something else so I don't want to do that. So what I need to do is I select the move tool, which I call dropping the tool. Now you see blue boxes in blue. But this says box one. So we want to change this to leg 001. And if I keep the 001 or just the one every time I copy it, will increase the number. So I'm going to position this down and off to the side. And you can use snapping for this if you want to be more precise. Just for the sake of this lecture, I'm just doing this kind of more uh, just by hand and getting in the ballpark. So I could draw a second leg, but the easiest thing to do is to hold down the shift key in the top view and drag out a copy. So now I have a copy, and you can see automatically it's leg two. And the one thing I think I might want to do is change the color real quick so you can see these easier on the screen. That's green, and this is a green. So remember, this is just the wireframe just to enable you to kind of see what things look like. Okay, so now we have both of those. We can hold down the uh, control key and select both those items. And then we can just do a shift again. So hold the shift in the top view for the third time. And now we have four legs for our chair. And it'll say copy leg 003. What you're actually doing is you'll get 003 and 004. So if I click one of these, you can see that's four. If I click the other one, you can see it's three. So now we have the basic legs. So the next thing we want is a seat. Now for a seat, I could copy one of these shapes and mutate it. But the easiest thing to do is just to create the box again. So I'll hit box. Um, and then I'll hold down the left mouse button and drag it out. And then drag it up or down, depending on what you want to do. And once again, before I click anything, I can come in and change the size so I can say the height of this. Let's do is 20, so that'll help be consistent. And then the size, let's do 150 by 150. And now we have a chair. Oh, you can see it's a little small, so I might have to increase this. Let's do 160, 160. Okay, there we go. And then hit the move tool, and now I have that shape. Now, right now, this defaults back to box one, and I can rename this, and I will call this uh, C. And I'm not going to copy it multiple times. Now, the one thing I could do, and I'll just show you this uh, very quickly, is if I do a negative height on this, you'll see there's, you can actually see, let me maximize this, you can actually see the legs below it. Let me change the color real quick to maybe yellow. Does that help? So I don't know, you see the green that's popping in those different areas? What that is is you have a 50-50 chance that you're seeing one item than the other because they're exactly at the same height. 
So what you need to do is you need to adjust the height of one or the other of the items because right now the legs, if you look at the size and the seat, are all at the same height. So if you pull this up just a smidge, um, that'll help. And then generally you want to make sure that things are bigger. So we didn't have used the scale tool yet, but we got move, rotate, scale, grab scale. And now you can pull this off to the size a little, and now you kind of have a base. Now this is a really simple table, but also you can see this would be something that we can use as a, an actual uh, base. So next thing we need to do is how to figure out how to go and um, add the additional items. Now for the back, there's a couple different ways we can do it. I'll, I'll show you some of the different ones. So one thing we can do is we can go to the side view. And if I uh, hold down left mouse button, I can highlight and I can select both the two of the legs. Now those are the front legs, so we actually want to get the back legs. And I can do a couple things with this. I can grab scale, and I could just simply come in here and pull this up and increase the height. And then because it scales from both the top and the bottom, I can move it and zoom out. And now I've created the back of the chair. So that's uh, one way you can do this. And then I can come in and grab the seat. And let's see, hold down the shift key to do that. And drag a copy of that. And then I can come in and look at this from the side. And if I want, I can scale it. Um, also, if I um, come in, and this we need to do now. now. Right now you have the default in the command panel where you're just seeing this create tab. The next one's modify, and if you click it, you'll actually see your shape and the different parameters of it. So if you want to adjust things, you can do it that way, but I'm just going to come in and line this and get it close, kind of eyeball it, and make it a little narrower, and the top view. Now, if you see that popping when I do that, that's because the coordinate system is relative to the viewport. If you change it to world, then when you go from one screen to the other, it won't change, and I don't know why they don't just default it to that. Um, so if your little widget pops around, you can uh, change it that way. And then I can grab and I can hold shift and I can copy this one more time and hit OK. And I did that in perspective viewport, but I held the left mouse button over the widget so I knew it would only move in that one axis. And I can look at that and I have a basic chair. Um, the final thing I could do with this chair is I could border select the whole thing and go up to group. And I can call this uh, chair. And if you do chair 001, same thing happens. So if I go to copy this, hold down shift, and I grab another chair, and I have chair 002. So it's a quick way that you can kind of update and change things. Now let's go back and ungroup uh, this object. And I'll show you a couple different ways that we can do the back. So um, actually, you know, so let me undo this a couple times. Um, Probably easier to do that. Okay, and now we turn the scale. So a real easy one is just to literally just grab the back two legs, copy them again. Now these aren't the same shapes, but now you actually have one, two, three, four shapes, and then grab one of these backs and choose rotate. And you can turn on snapping for this for angle. So that's right there. Remember this is move, rotate, and scale. And then I can come out and I can move this 90 degrees. And then I can adjust it as need be. Oh, no, I forgot to copy it. So that's kind of a problem. So there's two things I can do. I can um, go up and do edit clone, which is basically copy. Or we can do the same thing we did with the move tool where we held down the shift key, but we do it with rotate. So if I hold down the shift key while I rotate, I just rotate it off a copy. And then I can come in and adjust this as I need to. I got the proper width and the proper height. And I can copy this again by holding down the shift key and moving it down. Now I have it that way. So those are um, basically two different ways that you can um, get this solution for the actual chair. And if you go on to Angel, you can download the, the actual version. So I'm uh, just going to uh, go in and make the next object, which is a bed. And let me just briefly pull up the picture of the bed just so you can see what we're going to make. So if we go into Angel Courses, I'll just go and pull this up real quick. 
Assignment, modeling two, resources, stickly images. Let's go find the bed. That's not it, it's this one. Okay, and let's zoom in a little. Okay, so you can see what this bed has is as slats. And there's a piece right here on the footboard. There's a larger piece that sticks over this up here. There's these pieces here. The curve piece we're not going to worry about. And there's some pieces go to back, and then we duplicate it. So we're going to get in the ballpark um, with this, and it's the one that we're going to do is kind of clunky, but if you chose this, you can get a little bit more precise with the pieces. So let's go back, and um, I'm just going to do a control A, which selects everything and delete it for the time being. And the one thing that I usually like to do is with nothing on, you can do zoom extends all, and what it does, it resizes everything. And it goes back to a default size, so you know the scale is the same, because what happens sometimes is something will be small and something will be big. Um, so I'm going to go back and create a box this time. And this time I'll, I'll once again work in the top view. And I'm going to draw out that footboard shape, which is the top of the, um, the, the footboard. Okay, so I have that one shape, and this as as I do this, it should make more sense. And I'm going to hold Shift to copy, and this next copy, I'm going to scale up a little, and I'm going to scale in a little, and I'm also going to scale it on the top to make it a little skinnier. And I'm going to take this and move this up, and that's the second part of the footboard. You know, I'm going to hit G in here to get rid of the grid. Just hit the G key. Um, actually, in some ways, I think it might be easier just to get rid of it from everything. Um, okay, so now we have that done, and then I can copy this one more time. And you don't have to worry about the precision because no one's going to see it. So I'll hold down Shift again, and I got the bottom piece, and hit OK. And if I want, I could name these horizontal slats or, or something and give them a name like I did in the last one. Next thing I want to do is I want to create the legs, so I'm going to do a new shape now. I'll come in with a box, and I want it to be bigger than the smaller slat, but um, smaller than the, the bigger. And then we're going to pull it out. And what I'm talking about is if you go and you look at this right here, you'll see how this shape is bigger than that shape, but it's smaller than this shape. And when people do woodworking, they always make one shape go into the other shape. So this shape, either they're identical, or the one is narrower and the one is wider. So usually you want to make one that's bigger and one that's smaller. And then I have that done. Hold the other shift key. Drag off a copy. And I have both the legs done. And now I'm ready to actually do the, um, the slats. And I could just copy one of these shapes, or I can just do create box, and just do yet another shape, draw it out from the top, and then pull it up. And then I'll just do a little bit of tweaking on this to make sure that it's right. Um, it's usually worth getting this, this right and also looking at the picture, because if it's off, it can get a little tricky to click, fix. OK, so now we have that in place. And the way that I can I can do a couple things with this, I can hold down the Alt key, or the Shift key, and I can drag off one copy, hit OK, and I can drag off another copy. Um, that's kind of nice, but the problem with that is to do it always across has um, it, the precision, those types of things is gone. So they have an actual tool called the Array tool that copies multiple things at the same time. So we'll go up to Tools, and we'll go down to Array. And there's a lot of stuff here, and as I say to most people, just breathe. Um, first thing we'll do, um, you can do instance or reference. I'd probably just do um, just a copy, because if you change one, it's going to change everything, if not. And right now, even though you don't see it, you actually have 10 copies on top of each other. So in order to see what's happening, you turn on Preview, and the items are still on top of each other because you haven't shifted them. So what we want to do is we want to go up, and we want to look at the axis, and let's just move X, and you'll see what I'm doing is I'm moving across on X, and that increases and decreases the distance, and then I can also increase and decrease the count. So between tweaking these two items, you should be able to get something that looks relatively the same. Um, and it might take you a little tweaking. The other thing you can do is once you make everything, you can move it on a group. But you can see this is how you quickly 
can do multiple copies and when you get what you like you just hit OK and it applies it and now we have multiple